Hi Scorpios, welcome to your July reading. I hope you are doing well. I miss you guys a lot actually. I'm super excited to jump into this reading for you guys. Um, so, Scorpio. I am getting this feeling that you want out. <laughs> I don't know what you want out of. I have no idea, but it's something that you just want out of. It's like... I want out of this. I don't want to be a part of this. Why is this happening? How can I make this stop? Um, why do I feel this way? I don't want to feel this way. Um, can you like do this or can you like not do that? Because I want. I don't want to be here. I don't want to feel this way. I was like, what's happening? I have all these questions. I don't know, man. That's an engine I'm sensing, Scorpio. It's like you, there's some stuff happening in your surrounding and you just want out of it. Like you don't want to have any part of it. So... The Hierophant is here, it's like, you know, I'm sensing this energy of just going back to the basics a little bit. You're going back to the basics because I'm sensing with this third house energy um, that you have activated on this full moon coming up on 13th of July. You just had your ninth house activated with a new moon in, um, you know, in Cancer, obviously, because we're in Cancer season, your fellow water sign energy. So I am sensing that it's playing out of like, I need, maybe you're feeling stimulated to like learn something. Um, you know, get more educated on something, uh, read certain books, read certain, um, you know, articles about, about a certain subject. Like, you really want to sort of find... I'm sensing it has to do with, like, a higher level of knowledge, like a higher education, higher learning, something beyond what you would learn in, like, a, a regular school system. It's like you want to sort of go beyond something. You want to learn to understand something on, on a more, you know, on a higher level. So I'm feeling like some of you are trying to find some guidance in there. You're trying to find some answers. Um, maybe some clarification on why certain things went a certain way. Yeah, when it comes to like the heart. So for some of you, I have been sensing some breakups around you guys. And it's not for all, but for some of you, it really is like you just recently went through a breakup or you went through a loss. I'm sensing that a lot of Scorpios actually lost one or multiple people uh, up until now. You know, maybe like a year spent, a year spent, like since last summer. Um, <clears throat> but I'm sensing that you're trying to find a way of more harmonious energy, a more balanced energy, a way of um, putting these things to work for you by looking at them from a different perspective, by tuning into why certain things take place, you know, like a reason for stuff. Like I want to know the reason is what I'm hearing. Like maybe I can actually do something to change this or do this differently. So for some of you, it's really like has to do with just being intrigued and having fun. And it's not that deep, but it's like intriguing at the same time. And it's just, you know, keeping your mind occupied and it's enlightening some things within you. And for others of you, it's more deeper than that. Here we have the magician. So I am sensing that by actually reading into situations where maybe normally you wouldn't want to look back on you wouldn't want to contemplate too much upon um you're now actually doing you're gaining um the knowledge and the things that you have to clear your mind to feel more balanced to feel more at peace and then come forward again and move forward again so you really are going to find whatever you are looking for this time if you're looking for a little bit more fun if you're looking for a little bit more adventure if you're looking for a little bit more information if you're looking for a little bit more faith you are going to find whatever you are looking for Scorpio that's what I'm sensing and you're going to feel a lot more balanced when it comes to that so you have the ten of wands coming true <clears throat> together with the world card so yes it's like you don't have to carry the entire world on your shoulders you don't have to fix all the problems okay you really don't so let the world carry itself for a little bit now, I know that there is a lot going on, okay? And there's a lot happening in the world. And it is sad that, um, you know, these type of platforms that we are on, where we are connecting and we're communicating, um, are so censored. 
and then we cannot really go too much in depth about things otherwise you know certain reasons um that by itself is sad uh, you know really sad so a lot of times there's a lot of limitations about what we can actually say but i do want to you know acknowledge that it isn't easy to be a part of this world at this moment in time for not anyone on this planet is it's like completely easy breezy flowing because there are such major things happening um, and changes that are being made which feels like we're taking a hundred steps back in time and it just gets to you you know and for some people it they're better off putting it in such a way where you know it's not really necessary getting to them that deeply but it is a thing and during cancer season we feel things much more intense and things just come in and they're fine and it's water and it's okay and we deal with it and now woof we just get you know hit with the biggest <laughs> wave that we weren't see we, we just didn't see coming basically and you guys are comfortable with water i understand you know you do know the the, the ocean of emotions you get it um but I'm sensing that on in certain moments in time where you wouldn't expect to be completely, you know, um, consumed by the water, you will find yourself being completely consumed by the water. So that is a thing by itself that it's okay not to feel okay, okay, this month. It's okay because it will, it will stabilize. It will balance itself out. It's not about instantly jumping into making yourself feel better or ignoring that it's there. It's just okay. It's okay to need a day or a couple of days. It's okay to, to just not see the way out instantly. It's okay. Just let it be there. Um, don't force yourself too much or um, try to adapt a way of thinking where, you know, you sort of step over it it's like just go with the flow whatever makes you feel good whatever feels good to you whatever feels natural to you whatever feels not too forced for you is all good so that's different for everyone um i do sense that you have some tools in order to make some changes and you have to understand that it does matter Okay, even though you can't fix the bigger problems and at large, the, the, you know, the things at large, um, it matters. Whatever small thing you can do, for example, for your neighbors, for the neighborhood, your community, your work, your colleagues, your sister, your brother, your father, your mother, whatever you can do, even if it seems significantly small, it matters. And as long as you don't lose sidetrack like don't get sidetracked from that fact that you understand that even if it doesn't fix everything that doesn't mean it doesn't hold beauty and purpose and um it matters as long as you keep that a little bit um you will be fine and then after the phase where you are fine you will be good and then after the phase where you good you will actually feel pretty pretty good and after a phase where you feel pretty, pretty good, you feel actually the best you've ever felt. So it just goes. It will come. It will flow. So let it be there, okay? Whatever. However. No, once again, you don't have to carry the world on your shoulders in order to hold the world, okay? You. Let me see. The two of swords oh just like virgos no <laughs> i don't think it was no it was it was libra so i'm sorry i just did virgo and libra reading um i was talking about the mental mountains <laughs> we're getting your mind okay so it's okay to retreat there a little bit we have the nine of cups beautiful i told you after you feel like okay you will get to the point where you feel pretty damn good and the knight of cups is here so something to put everything a little bit more in perspective with one another mm -mm -mm. so scorpio i talked about this before i think it was actually um okay okay 
sorry. Uh, hormones. <laughs> you know, the trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm moving forward. Um, what I'm sensing is... I spoke about this. In the 2020 readings, I spoke about being a little bit careful around this time, right? Because, you know, we guys are getting more and more fertile, you know, for some of you, it's just for some of you, but I do want to mention it once again, because I'm sensing that energy is actually heightened in the, in September again. Okay. So August, September, uh, that energy. Um, so just be conscious about that. Um, if it's great news to you, then I guess it's great news to you. Um, but at the same time, don't if you are trying to conceive, okay, then understand that you got to trust in the divine timing. And maybe this energy helps a little bit because some of you, it's been a very tough, long fertility journey. And it's, it's absolutely exhausting. Okay. And I want you to create that space for yourself. It is a lot. Especially if you've been dealing with it for a couple of years, it's occupying in your mind and everything. So allow it to just let it go and let it flow a little bit. Don't you need a cup like for example if you are still doing it the natural way, then take just have fun with it, okay? For a little bit. Just two, three months of just whatever if it flows it flows if it doesn't it doesn't we'll see we'll see we'll see and then maybe say like you know in october if it didn't happen before it might season um then we'll get back into like tracking everything but for now it just the pressure needs to be released because it's all about releasing the pressure for a little bit okay um for others of you once again if that's not on your wish list for this time just make sure be conscious be careful there's something that I really want to say, but I cannot say it. Um, okay, how to put that in a way where it's generalized. Be very conscious about the way you will, are preventing it from happening, especially if you intake stuff for it, because there's something I've been downloading for a couple of weeks now that it might not be completely, you know, 100% trustworthy. So do the extra, the extra things that you can do, do the extra things. If like, once again, if it's not your wish list, okay? Now there I put it out in the most general way. Let's hope and pray that that wasn't an issue. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if we have some news coming up in there in maybe like a year now where it did figure it out where it wasn't really trustworthy, but okay, let's move forward. Because <laughs> we got other stuff to talk about. People like I, I don't even want. I'm already at over the age of kids, and they say I don't, I don't, I don't. That's not my journey. So let's move forward. Let's generalize things again a little bit here and there. Um, if you are, however, on a fertility journey, you really are going through the ringer. I'm sending you one big hug, and you are a, a powerhouse of a woman or a man. You know or everything above and in between you're a powerful beautiful soul and you will receive you know it will come into your life in divine time it will it really will i have seen miracles happen okay all right here we have the beautiful ace of cups don't worry about the things that aren't working out because oh there's something so much better for you scorpio Trust the universe on this one. So much better. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Here we have justice, seven of wands, and the queen of cups. Protect, what, protect what's yours, but don't overdo it. Okay? Don't overdo it. Mm. All right. Here we have... I feel like this is a, you know, this energy of doing it all for love, okay? Like doing it all for love. And 
And I feel that from a place of unconditional, instinctual, instinctual? Is that a word? I don't know. It's like, you know, coming from your primal instincts, like for example, as a mom or, you know, as a, as a daughter wanting to protect your mother or father or, you know, parents or grandmother or whatever, like this primal instinct of love. It comes from the heart. It comes from, you know, wanting to protect. I'm sensing there's something you're trying to protect that honestly is already so insanely protected that you kind of are sort of focusing so much on, uh, you know, putting up your barriers and protecting that kind of you lose sight of how it should feel and that's just harmonious and love and just enjoy what you have, what you have, what you have instead of sort of overly focusing on what else can, you know, can come and take it away. And like, you know, and so I'm sensing that, understand, I just want to give you the message that it's already so spiritually protected. You don't have to go out of your way. So I'm sensing someone who might actually be so afraid of losing um, their partner um, to another person or whatever, like it's what you're afraid of and, and that you're starting to maybe, you know, control, not control, um, double check on things. And this could also be something that's more, you're on the other side of things. Like some, you have a person who's very afraid of losing you. So they kind of sort of overly act jealous or act like, you know, want to double check things because I don't know, it's because it's out of fear of losing, right? Um, it's basically, um, you know, fear of commitment and then fear of losing, you know, the commitment. So that's um embannement issues okay so i'm sensing that understand it's already divinely protected so if it's not divinely guided anymore and it's not supposed to stay then it will one one way shape or form leave but then at least once it does you still have had those moments and you really got a chance to take it in instead of you know we're out in the field all day and instead of actually being close to that cup right close to the emotion so it's it's not like it has to be either or it doesn't have to be completely letting everything flow and not even putting any mind no it's of course you know you gotta uh, be a little bit conscious tune in understand that if something's off your intuition will let you know okay it will let you know so right so overall i'm sensing that through going with the flow and actually tuning into looking at things from a different perspective, um, opening up your heart and your energy again. Um, I'm really sensing that in by the end of you know July, you're in such a better space, hard space, but also just overall back into the heart, um, Scorp. So that's really good. Okay, one more card, the Angel Answer cards. What do we have? Well, no, it's the angel messages deck, but... Okay, so you have fair decisions and you have two of action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There, there's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or your creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the bigger picture rather than the details of the moment. That's so accurate. The angels always lurking in my reading. <laughs> just saying, these orc cards always like burning on the sideline. Like, can I now just, you know, spread a little extra magic? He can say, your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light up on the situation and is all being healed. Told you, way more protected, situation way more protected than you might think. All right, um, take the time to review all the details truthfully. Um, forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. All right, beautiful. Number eight, that's my lucky number. <laughs> it's my birthday of my birthday. Um, but it's such a powerful energy because you guys are the 
you know eighth sign of the zodiac so it just overall just brings the whole cycle back together so one day at a time and understand that there's nothing to worry about stand your ground obviously with the seven of wands as well and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed you need to understand that there are certain things we have to stand in your truth and have to speak your mind but there are also certain things that the universe will come in and heal for you if you decide to work with the energy of forgiveness and letting things go not you know forgetting not letting someone back in it's about letting the anger go so the wisdom and the lessons can flow okay and good karma can also come to you so all right, I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys so much, Scorpio. Have an amazing month. If there's anything you ever want to get off your chest and want to share with me, be my guest. You know, the door is always open for you guys. So um, I am going, once again, going to sign out. I wish you an amazing month of July and I will be back soon. Mwah. Bye, Scorpios. Bye.